Today brings us a very fun subject. Uh, especially after the whole uh, thing about how I'm still alive even though it's December 21st. I finally decided I'll make my very first logical intelligent response to Christians, Christian extremists, and religion in general. Um, so I'm going to borrow my wife's uh, Bible while she's at work doing her registered nurse stuff. This here is the Holy Bible. She used to really be into that until she met me. Uh, so I'm going to borrow it for this point and make a good example. I mean, I've looked at it and all that other crap. Um, but now that she's got more common sense to her, especially after something like what I'm about to say, there's a reason why she doesn't obsess over it anymore, and this is why. So, after listening to both sides, atheist, agnostic, and full-blown Christians, I've come to this conclusion, and of course my own personal knowledge as well, using such things as common sense. This God figure, this Jesus figure, is nothing more than just a fictional character from the mind of a repulsive, fucked-in-the-head sociopath that had a thing for degrading women, having men be dominant and slaves be okay, and for torture and killings to others to be okay as well. So after a while, this fucked up person became a, from back in the day, finally wrote up all this stuff and that was made into the Bible. But now, think of that. People are fucked up as the nowadays, but intelligently live. So it's more than possible uh, for someone to be worse, if not somewhat the same back then, because of poor living environments, poor food intake, and so on. Malnutrition, poor sleep cycle, horrible living, the list goes on. Because people didn't live too good back then. So it's more highly likely from a medical standpoint, which my wife can confirm, that you know, after years of that shit, one would become delusional, such as much of religion and religious people are, and will continue to be like. And I'll go on to say why, now that there's some background, background knowledge known. Okay. So, to start out, we have this whole t Ten Commandments thing. It's fucked up as is. And they don't even know what it's even fully saying. Only a demented, repulsive, insane person, if anyone, I suppose, would get the true meaning. Look at the Fourth Commandment. Remember, Sabbath day, and keep it holy for six days. Uh, you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is Sabbath to your Lord your God, and you should not do any work. Your son, you, and or your daughter, your male or female slave, livestock, alien resident in your towns, which is said in Exodus, uh, Exodus 28.9. Yeah, Exodus 28.9, which basically says, thus, says, work six days and not on the seventh day. Now, let's look at reality for a little bit. Walmart, being the well, best well-known 24-hour, seven-day-a-week store, including a Christian bookstore, open for seven days a week. Ironic, isn't it? Now, let's look at the situation and be clear and right to the point. This fictional God guy has told us not to work on the seventh day. And so... What do we do with all these such people that do so? Well, let's find out. In this here fictional story book called The Bible, in Exodus 31.15, it says, Work six days, but on the seventh day is the rest and holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on Sabbath day must be put to death. Death, you say? So I guess killing off millions then, right? 
Killing people that work hard to support their family is just fine because they work on the seventh day. Death penalty to tens of millions. So I guess we're going to go Hitler and gas chamber all of them, right? Because that's the right thing to do. But to me, that sounds repulsive. And sounds like Hitler-like. And sounds like the work of a madman that wrote a fictional story book. And made it even... And it even intends to sound as fucked up as it is. Because the mentally fucked up in the head person that wrote it in Isaiah 48... 40 and then 2.8. The grass withers, the flower fades, the, but the word of God will stand forever. And says the same thing in 1 Peter verse 1, 24, 25. Then to add on to this, in Pilsam 19.7, says, The law of the Lord is perfect. So with that, the laws of the Lord are perfect and never to change. So I guess we have to kill all those people. But do we want to read that shit to our kids? Or to the law? Hell no! It's already fucked up what kids see as of nowadays anyways. And law? It's already corrupt as, as, as if enough. The Bible shit will worsen it far beyond anything I can even imagine. And that's not good. Basically giving the law of a sociopathic murderer to the law and reading his stories of lies to kids? Not good. Then on top of this, the first commandment, thou shall not have no other gods before me. LOL. Okay, so that means kill everyone that doesn't believe in God, including those that believe in Allah. Such as in Do It 17, 2-7. Take the man and woman who has done this evil deed to your city gate and stun the person to death. Well, shit! That sounds like a sociopathic that likes to kill people that doesn't like his fantasy story book. Then, if a whole damn town don't believe in this story book and fictional characters named God and Jesus, then you must attack the town and destroy all inhabitants as well as the livestock. And you must pile all plunder in the middle of the street and burn it. Woofa! That sounds like a sociopathic and a uh, and soci and psychopathic to me, mate. Then Levy 2016 says, Anyone who blasphemes the name of the Lord must be put to death. The entire assembly must stone him. Well, shit. The psycho has bring in group killings of one now. What a genius. But basically in short term, we must kill everyone who does not believe in God. That's a good way to kill off a lot of people now, isn't it, psycho? Eh. So, uh, the law of the Lord perfect? L-O-L. Hell no! It's repulsive! Also, if a teen rebels, he must be stoned. And then in Levitic Leviticus 20.10, if a man or wife with uh, is to cheat with his neighbor, both persons must be put to death. If a man lies with a man... The same way he lies with the woman, uh, both have done distasteable. They must be put to death. Leviticus 2013. Dude, that sounds like a fictional God character has put in his fantasy storybook that the Bible demands that we kill tens of millions of innocent people. Yay for religion! Repulsive. Oh! And this one makes me laugh the most, especially since it came from the good old fictional character Jesus himself. Matthew 18, 7-9. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It's better that you enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands and two feet and be thrown into eternal fire. And if your eyes cause you to sin, Meaning, like, if you check out a chick or look at porn. Gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than two eyes than be thrown into fire of hell. What the fuck? Seriously? LOL. 
Okay, so this psycho that wrote this book about his fictional character Jesus and God just made this Jesus dude look like an egregious supporter of self, bodily, harm, and mutilation. Good job! That's pleasant. You're such a good guy. I wish I knew you. Ha ha ha. Basically, what's being said is if you jack off or you finger yourself, or you check out other women, or uh, check out some guy, you have to mutilate yourself and or cut yourself accordingly. If not, gouge out your fucking eye. LOL. What the hell is wrong with this dude? It's fucked up on so many levels, but let's just start out with saying this fictional character that the psychopath made up in his fantasy story book called the Bible named Jesus is a complete total fucking idiot. Cutting off your hand or gouging out your eye accomplishes absolutely nothing. If you have a problem with such things as too much jerking off or a sex addiction, get help with that shit. Self-amputation is repulsive and absurd and it's retarded. Sounds like a psychopath. Sounds like something a psychopath would do. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, because the psychopath wrote the damn book. Ooh, and then sexism is another thing the psycho gets off on. As in seen in Corinthians 14, women should remain silent in churches. They are not allowed to speak, but must be put in submission. As the law says, if they are to acquire about something, they should ask their own husbands at home, for it is disgraceful for women to talk in church. LOL. What? Woof. Sounds like this guy didn't like women or got cheated on too much. Or uh, wasn't very lucky amongst the women. And so he's taking his anger out in this writing now, doesn't it? Then, in Tim, Tim, Tim 1, okay, 1 Tim 2, Let women learn in silence with all submissiveness. I permit no women to teach or have authority over men. She is to keep silent. Damn, dude. He sound like he'd be good in BDSM porn. Now, wouldn't he? This guy would be considered a legend or some shit with how he thinks and shit. Making this fictional character named Jesus and all that sound pretty bad if you ask me. But hey, let's look at some more fucked up things. Isaiah 13. Anyone who is captured will be run through by a sword. Their little children will be dashed to death right before their eyes. Hoysi 13. They shall fall by the sword. Their little ones shall be dashed to pieces. They're pregnant women ripped open. Numbers 31. Now, therefore, kill every male amongst the little ones, and kill every woman who is, n is known man by laying with him. But all young girls who have not known man by laying with him, keep alive for yourselves. You probably got the idea by this point, lol. I guess you can see not only is following the Bible uh, not only disgusting and repulsive, but think about it. We have this book read at weddings and funerals. We force people to put their hands on this book in court and find copies of the Bible in almost nearly every hotel room in America. And now what do you think of Christians and their, well, uh, religion of its own? Fucked up, don't you say? Or, to some, they're pretty badass. <laughs> but basically, the fantasy storybook that this guy made up about these fictional people called God and Jesus demand that we kill everyone who works on Sabbath day, seventh day, Kill teens who drink too much, enslave people of other nations, oppress women, and kill people who are homosexuals. The list goes on. A book this repulsive and filled with hate and violence has no place in our society. Peeps be fucked up as is, man. If I didn't have a heart, feelings, or intelligence, I would go along and follow through with these things. I'd be fucked up peep like the others. 